Hello, welcome to chapter 36, Bootstrap Image Carousel, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn like how to create an image carousel using the Bootstrap Carousel plugin. Right now, this image represents the outcome of this session. In the sense, at the end of this session, we are going to build this type of image carousel, which will be having four images in it. Okay, and in order to build this type of image carousel, we need to take help of these Bootstrap Carousel classes. They include Carousel, Slide, Carousel Inner, Item, Carousel Caption, Carousel Indicators and Carousel Control. Okay, With the help of these classes as well as we have to add these carousel attributes also. The attributes include Data Interval, Data Pause, Data Wrap, Data Ride, Data Slide To and Data Slide. In the sense, with the help of these carousel attributes and also with the help of these carousel classes, we are going to build this type of image carousel. So, as of now, without wasting much time, let me jump into Visual Studio and let me start coding for this image carousel. And before starting with that, I would like to tell few things like this is an empty web project. To this empty web project, I have added the reference of Bootstrap as well as jQuery. So, let me start coding to build an image carousel. Right now, I'll take a do element. To this do element, right now, I'll add an ID and I'll tell you later why I'm adding ID to this do. I'll take ID as image carousel and let me add few classes to this due the classes includes carousel as well as another class that is slide L right now let me tell you why I'm adding this carousel and slide class let me jump back to presentation you can observe here the class carousel it creates the carousel so I need to add this class this is the basic class and coming to the slide it adds the sliding animation effect when transitioning from one item to another in the sense when uh, when the first image is moved and when the second image is, is coming okay at that point of time this slide class it adds the animation effect so we need to add this slide class let me jump back to visual studio and after this due element i need to take another due inside that due element and i need to add a class called carousel in there as i said earlier carousel is a collection of images so we are going to place all those images in this due which is having a class called carousel in there and all this and each of the images which are presenting which are pushing inside this due which is having the class carousel inner should be inside another due which is having a class called item okay in the sense whatever the images we are placing inside the carousel inner should be encrypted in, in the other due and that due should have a class called item okay and inside this due I'm right now I'm going to call an image the image right now I'm going to call here is the fruit image and after that okay let me jump back to presentation here you can observe this is an image and to this image we have a caption here flower and the description is flower image how to get this type description it's very simple I need to take another due to this due I need to add a class the class is the class I'm going to take now is carousel caption right now let me add a h3 tag telling like this is fruit and the description to that is fruit image control s right now I'm having only one image if I wish to add four images to my carousel what I need to do is I need to copy it four times so let me copy it four times let me copy it three times again one two and three right now in my carousel I'm going to take four images so let me change the fruit image we are already having the fruit let me change it to vegetable and let me change the content here also to vegetable. Let me copy it and let me paste it here just to save the time. And after that, I need to change the image of this as well. I'm going to take flower. Let me scroll up. And let me change this to penguin. We are right now in my folder I have a penguin image. And let me change this also. And this is penguin. When I do control S. Okay. Now when I go back and when I refresh the page, right now our carousel is not executing. Why? Because we need to do some other alterations. The alterations include, I need to set some of the data dash attributes. The data dash attributes include, 
like the first one is data okay data ride is equal to carousel we have to set like data ride is equal to carousel and also I need to set data interval is equal to 2000 milliseconds in the sense the default timing when it moves from one image to other image to the carousel it is 5 seconds but now I'm configuring it to 2 seconds in the sense 2 mil 2000 milliseconds okay and also I need to do another thing that is to this class item I need to add another class that is active controllers now when I go back and when I refresh you can observe currently we are getting a image vegetable image and the carousel it's happening right now right now we got a penguin image and again it pushes back to fruit and immediately to the vegetable and immediately to the flower and finally the penguin we're getting this type of thing but keep in mind how to get this type of indicators the circle indicators and what does the circle indicators indicate let me jump back to presentation and let me show you that okay in order to get that type of indicators I need to make use of this class that is carousel indicators what it does is it adds the dot indicators at the bottom of each slide you can observe here you can observe very clearly here at the bottom of each slide we are having a circle indicator in order to get the circle indicator I need to make use of this class that is carousel indicator class this also indicates the user is viewing the current slide and also it tells like the total number of images or the slides present there so let me go and do that what I do right now I am right now adding the carousel indicators so what I'll do I'll take ordered list to that order list I'll add a class called carousel indicators and inside that I need to take a list items okay to this list item I need to add a data dash attribute data target okay right now okay this image has to indicate the perf uh, respective image so this OL has to point to this due okay how can I point to this due it's uh, I can point to this due with the help of this ID present here so I'll copy this ID control C and I'll assign it here okay since it is ID I have to add ash at the beginning and after that I need to take another important attribute okay that is data data slide 2 okay data slide 2 it's not slide slide 2 okay data slide to 0 this first image it is sitting in the 0 position so that's this first circle what it comes it points to the fruit image similarly I have to take the other three so I'll copy and paste it okay and here I'll change it to 1 and this to 2 and this to 3 when I do control S, okay when I go back and when I refresh currently you can observe we are getting this okay currently you can observe we are getting that circle indicators it indicates like the uh, like it is on which image perfectly and also it tells like the number of images present currently in this we have four images how can I tell that by indicating by looking into that four circles okay that indicates the total number of images and also like on which image currently it's moving that is the advantage of using that indicator and again coming back to the presentation we have these two buttons like arrow marks left arrow and right arrow buttons okay how to get this it's very simple what are they going to do when I click on this button this arrow left arrow button it takes me back to the previous image and again when I click on this right button right arrow it takes me back to the takes me to the next image so how do I get that and we can achieve that with the help of bootstrap carousel class they include okay carousel control okay how to do that it's very simple let me jump back to my visual studio at the end of this due at the end of this due uh, this carousel in a due okay I'm going to create I'm going to add an anchor tag to that anchor tag right now I'm setting my href to image okay let me copy and paste just to avoid the mistakes I'm pointing that to this ID control C let me come down and I'll point it here control V and also I need to set few attributes that is data slide okay data slide I need to set it to previous previous okay I need to set this and this is pointing here and data slide previous and after that let me let me add few things like right now right now we are added the attribute that is data slide previous and also as I said earlier I need to add another class that is carousel okay 
carousel control and this is the previous one so I have to add the left class also and after that okay how can I get this symbol that is left arrow pointing pointer I can get this left arrow pointer this arrow mark by adding one uh, glyph icon that is let me take a span element and let me add a glyph icon class that is glyph icon and also I need to tell like glyph icon okay glyph icon chevron left okay control s and similarly I have to take the other one to the right what I'll do is I'll change your to next the data slide is next and after that I need to change your also to left not the right R sorry it's to the right not to the left and again I have to change your also to the right okay now when I do control s when I go back and when I refresh the page you can observe currently I'm getting these arrow marks when I click on this okay it's taking me to the previous image and now when I click on this it will take me to the next image this is what we learned in this session like how to build this type of image carousel okay and right now I'm left with few carousels a few data attributes they include data pause and data wrap what is this pause pauses from transitioning to the next slide on over currently you can observe currently you can observe the fruit image now it moves to the vegetable now when I over on this carousel the transitioning in the sense the moving of images stops right now it's because it's because by default by default to the carousel the data pause is true so currently what I have to do is I have to set the data pause to false on setting the data pause to false what happens is if I place if I over on this image also the images should move right now it stopped because the data over the data sorry the data pause is set to true now what I need to do is I need I need to set it to false how can I set it it's very simple I have to come here and I have to set it like data pause is equal to false when I set it to false when I do control s when I go back currently you can observe when I have not refreshed the page yet when I move my mouse over on that carousel the images moving from one slide to another slide has been stopped right now now as, I, as soon as I do fi in the sense as soon as refresh now the images will move you can observe now when I move my mouse over on that still you can observe the images they are moving why because right now I have set the data pause value to false okay and right now let me remove that okay I just show you and let it be there not a problem and let me come back and we are left with another important attribute that is data wrap okay to stop at the last slide set this attribute to false in the sense you can observe very clearly now this is a first image fruit and the second one is vegetable third one is flower and the fourth one is penguin as soon as it reaches penguin it comes back to fruit but our intention right now is when as soon as it reaches to penguin it has to stop there how can I do that it's very simple I need to set this attribute data wrap to false so how do I do that I'll come here then I'll set data wrap to false when I do this when I do control s when I go back when I refresh currently you can observe it's on vegetable and it's on flower and as soon as it moved to penguin now now the penguin is not pushing the next image that is first image vegetable or fruit sorry so this is how we can stop as soon as it reaches the final image you can observe I'll push it to fruit now next it comes the vegetable next is the flower and finally when it reaches to penguin again it is not coming back to fruit now I've been stopped it how can I stop it I can stop it by setting this data wrap value to false right now here okay this is what we saw in this session like how to build a beautiful image carousel and also we learned the importance of all these attributes on the classes in this session okay and finally we built a beautiful demo of image carousel and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel and pro training you can also like our facebook page visiting these urls you can also follow us on twitter for further references refer our website we are on linkedin too okay again let's again last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you